Shalom. This is Mary Omni from the World Government House of King David, Holy Covenant Constitutional Enforcer. This is our Republic Notice. The title of this Republic Notice is called the 411 of President Obama LGBT Marriage Support and Stance. The 411 of President Obama LGBT Marriage Support and Stance. President Obama was the first president in history to support so-called same-sex marriage, alleged same-sex marriage of the LGBT, which is the lesbian, gays, bisexuals, and transsexuals, uh, for them to receive federal benefits because regardless of what they tell you about their humanity and their equal rights, it's just them demanding more privilege and that their uh, privilege uh, be supported by using their sexuality or their transgression of God's law. Now, this is a permission for the dark principalities to keep um, and hold on to some levels of power that they are now losing. They're now trying to turn the LGBT into the new black or whatever. They're always looking for another minority to usurp the 400 years of inalienable rights infringement that all in America, called public mystery Babylon, is benefiting from. If you hear them talk, a lot of times they will never use the word republic. They will be say, they will say public servant, uh, public benefits, public this, public that, public this, public that. Everything is about the public to them. And then in a second thought, they claim to be of the republic. But their first priority is always about public duty, public servant, public rights, you know, public uh, uh, land, public, uh, you know, this and public that and public this. And so this is the latest public, which is Mystery Babylon, effort to usurp the republic or to trample unbridled, uh, to trample the black infant, a uh, long suffering, um, trampling a public mystery Babylon in their support and Ponzi scheme with foreign and corporate bankers and industrialists and uh, evil shenanigans to fight God Almighty and his holy covenant, which is the Constitution of America, of the United States of America. So this uh, video is the Republic Notice about, and the 411 about President Obama, uh, LGP, LGBT, marriage support and stance. Now, a lot of blacks found this alarming, and the first reaction is alarm. I mean, this is, you know, the president of the 21st century who has a beautiful black wife and beautiful black daughters um, in the White House for the first time where children and uh, this black generation of the 14th biblical generational inheritors can see themselves in nobility and in a high position of authority. And um, so it, it becomes very alarming when it looks like it's not the servitude of the most high in the front of the authority. Um, and especially since the majority of blacks in America are Judeo-Christians, some of them just say Christians because they don't know that they're Judah. They don't know that they're the namesake, they don't know that they're Judah, they think the Khazars are the Jews. And the Khazars always said that they was converts, so that means that they came later and imposed themselves in the family. <laughs> Of, uh, of the original people of the namesake. They do state that they are converts, which means they are not by birth and not by blood of King Yahshua, who is the king of the Judaic nation because he is the father and the son of the Judaic nation. Therefore, the 411 is this. President Obama and his support 
of this type of Babylon, mystery Babylon, you know, evil, and I will say it's evil, not so much because of their sexuality, because it's used as an excuse, their sexuality is used as an excuse to trample the black infant for 14th birthrights non consented to them. The black infant, first of all, is not old enough to consent. Them are his birthrights, okay? And black people are non consenters in the constitutional republic anyway. But since the republic is not the uh, mystery Babylon public priority, they trample unbridledly and they are not dumb. They have, in, they have what you call selective intelligence and selective ignorance. So they can be selectively intelligent, selectively ignorant. So they want to pretend to be selectively ignorant that they're trampling this black infant. It's a selection. It's a selection, just like they have selective constitutionality. The majority of their conversation is about the mystery Babylon public, not about the republic, but then they have selective of when they want to use the republic. They're like children who think they're going to always have their cake and ice cream and, and their pie and they don't have to turn nothing down or, you know, they don't have to do without nothing. But they're going to understand that the, the price they're going to pay, they will never, never recover from. So the 411 is this. The 411 is President Obama, first of all, is constitutional. His blood is in the Constitution with a constitutional citizen, regardless of what you hear. Michelle Obama's constitutional citizen, his blood is one with her through their what you call Lord children. And therefore, he is an adopted son, according to Galatians 4.4. And so this is the 411 blacks have to understand. Don't listen to a public mystery Babylon, because like I said, they have selectivity about the Constitution, and a lot of it is based on what can benefit their pink skin and stringy hair and their greed. See, that's what it comes down to to them. Their lust, greed, their skin, because that's what they base it on, not nothing else. Therefore, that's why I select. Romans in the Bible, 124 says, wherefore God also gave them up to their uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Romans 125, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever, amen. Romans 1, for this God gave them up to their vile affections for even their women did change the natural use into which, into that which is against nature. Romans 1 27 and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lusts one towards another men with men with men working that which unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was met 1 128 Romans and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to the reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Romans 1.29, being filled with all the unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, and wisdom. Romans 1.30, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. Romans 131, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, in place, implacable and unmerciful. Romans 132, who knowing the judgment of God, that which they commit, such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Okay, so that tells us right there. That tells us right there that President Obama cannot 
do other than God himself does. God himself gave them over to their lusts and their reprobate minds. So President Obama is really following what God has already done. He gave them over to their reprobate minds and their lusts. If God gave them over, who is President Obama to stop what God has already done? Yes, he can use the political field to say, yeah, I agree with that because God has already turned them over to their reprobate mind. It makes it easier for the new kingdom to move them out of the way, to move their filth all into a collection net and cavity, okay? So blacks don't get alarmed. President Obama is the blameless non consenter in the Holy Covenant. If you don't like things he do, stand up on your constitutionality, but do not listen to selective public mystery Babylon. They are turned over to their lusts, and President Obama is not higher than God Almighty. If God Almighty have done it, then President Obama is following the will of God Almighty. Now this is a perspective you will not hear from nobody but someone like myself, who's on the front line. This is Mary Omni from the House of King David. Shalom.